Hello you legends, cycling enthusiasts, subscribers. Eldred here. I just got back from a ride and uh, I've got new piece of equipment. <laughs> I get excited when I get stuff in the mail. I'm like a kid in a candy store. My wife was excited when she brought it last night because she wanted to see the look on my face. So I held back. I didn't open it. Uh, Simon Moses had uh, suggested the Castelli Pioggia 3 shoe cover, which is what I have here. Um, they've got some small print on here. I'll show you guys. It's really, really tiny. Let me see here. Let's see if this thing will focus on it. It's real tiny, so I got my glasses. I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to basically, so I'm opening it and I'm going to do a test today. Um, the word Pioggia in Italian means rain. So by naming it Pioggia 3, they've laid down the challenge and I'm taking them up on it. These are shoe covers. The first thing is they look great. They're beautiful. You know, the Italians, they have style. I mean, you know, they have style. So I like the look. Simon suggested it. I had read some of the reviews. They were all over the place. And once Simon suggested it, I figured I'd give it a try. You know, it's not the toughest uh, shoe cover out there. The material feel almost, it's kind of hard to describe. Let me see if they specified on here what, what the material is. Uh, let's see. It's lycra. So it's a fleece. I'm going to read that to you. The, it's fleece back silicone coated lycra. It keeps out wind, cold, and rain, and all the seams are sealed. That's pretty much what they have back here in, in different languages. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I didn't have, I don't have my scissors here, so I gotta be careful as I, uh, I don't want to damage this thing. There we go. Ideally, you want to use scissors, but I'm going to make do here. And uh, let me get this thing backed out. I like to take these things out carefully, these little things they attach the tag to. If you don't take it out carefully on delicate stuff, you can kind of, you can rip them. So it's out. They've got the longest tag in there. All the, all the Castelli stuff have really long tags. So I may cut this out later after I'm done testing this thing, once I decide it passes the test. And so, we're gonna put this guy through the ringer. It's got two holes on the bottom for, which is cool. This is for your cleat, of course, and this is for the back of the shoe. I like that. The material underneath is very rubbery, and it's very, it feels very durable. And I think it's perfect. So they really gave it a lot of thought. The holes are covered with, uh, some material and they stitch the material almost like a a band around it so that this thing doesn't come apart so it's all protected so the lycra is protected the nose is reinforced with the same material under the shoe it's kind of a rubbery feel it's really really nice to the touch and it's very very tough so the top of it is what they use the lycra for it's very delicate let me open it up so you can see the inside they've got this little band here they have a silicone collar they've got a, a band of silicone if you can see that see that shine yeah there's a band of silicone around that and that's designed so that when you wrap it around your ankle or not your ankle i mean your shin because it's going to come way up that water doesn't get in very easily a lot of times uh what i do is i put my if it's going to be real rainy i put my uh tights or whatever i have over the shoe cover so water doesn't drip into the shoe cover because it's not the shoe cover's fault. But it's nice that they have that silicone band in there so that it will stop moisture from getting in. So that, that's really a plus. There's a nice little tag here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and I've shown you guys all the details there. The rubber, I gotta show you this, the zip is really, really sealed. That's the zip you're looking at right there. And watch as I open it, they have some kind of a seal on the back side of the zipper. You can see the zipper underneath here. 
on this side, on the inside, but on the back side, it is covered. It is protected, so no moisture can get through. So when you zip it up, it is completely sealed. We can see that. That's really neat. Of course, the, the Russell Corsa line is like the race line. So this is a race overshoe. So let me, let me put it on real quickly. And uh, I, this is size extra large. Uh, I always size up with Castelli. But this extra large, I believe, what size does it fit European? I wear a 45 euro and I went with the extra large. I believe that's, that's, what, that's what is listed on the sizing chart. So I didn't have to do anything unusual. All my Castelli stuff, whether they're jerseys, jackets, I always size up because the Italian sizing is smaller than US sizing. It's very easy to put on and I'm using the same technique. I'm pushing down on the bottom to get it over the cleat and the front gets on fairly easily. I don't know if you can see there. Let me uh, bring the camera closer so you guys can get a better view here. So what should have done. Put that over here and come down. And I hope this is a good frame here. Yeah, let's move over here. There we go. That's not bad. That's pretty good. So, there we go. So let's go down. That's the key when you're putting these things on. Make sure you get past the cleat, especially the Shimano SPD SL. The cleats are very big and they've got these little walking tabs on them. So they tend to grab on things on like look or other cleats. It's catching on the Velcro on my shoe on the side. So this, this particular shoe that I have, the straps are very short. So there's a lot of exposed Velcro. But so far, I really like the way it looks. You can see that. Let me zip it up. I already showed you guys how the zipper looked. Uh, I will show you how it looks on my, while it's on my foot. It feels very good. The first thing, my first impressions are, unlike the Belgian over socks that I did in the other video, this is not grabbing my foot to where I had to, I didn't ball up my foot, I just got back from a ride. So I guess my foot is already, if it was gonna swell, it already swelled up during the ride. But this does not uh, tighten and compress on my foot. It fits very well, there's no loose, there's nothing loose. And look how good that thing looks. So let me, uh, let me go ahead, the zipper's there, I've zipped it up. I'll show you from the back. Zipper's up, and this thing, the silicone, sticks to your skin, not uncomfortably. So this, wow, it sticks to your skin. I'm gonna come closer to the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna lift my leg here. Look at that. Let me use this hand. Look. I don't know if you can tell, it, it's sticking to my skin. So that's silicone on the skin. Look. I did that so you can see. It, it basically, it almost like it forms a seal against your skin. That is so cool. You can actually feel it, it feels like, it, like glue. And all I did was, let me move this, let me move back so you can see. I want you to see the band and how it fits. That's the band. All I had to do was just this. So it fit so well that I just needed to do this on the Velcro. That. So I'm very, very pleased so far with the seal up here. I need to straighten the band a little bit on the back. I don't know if you guys can see on the back, there's a little bit of a, an area here that's kind of out of place there. That's the part that covers the zipper.
Okay, yeah, so, so they basically have a part of the band right there. That covers the, the end of the zipper where they couldn't seal. They have this cover to keep water out. And since it's over it, if water hits it, it's just gonna drop on the outside. They've thought about, they've thought this out. When I'm done putting it up, I'll do a close up so you guys can see everything. Let me put this one on. So far, I'm very pleased with the way it looks. I'm really pleased with the way it feels. I need to check how the underside looks. Line it up to where, that's the thing with over socks, you gotta make sure you're not walking on the over sock. So I had to pull that a little bit to let the back of my shoe hit the ground there. So now I've got it to where I can walk on it without, you don't wanna walk on your over socks, you can wear them out quicker. I like that the hole back here is not very big. It's just enough to let the walking surface uh, hit the ground, but it just seems that you got to pull it up a little bit because for me, I don't want to walk on my over socks. I want to walk on a shoe. I don't want it touching the ground at all. So I pulled it up a little bit right there. I'm going to do the same thing with this other one. And so now I feel that, yes, the shoe's on the ground, the over sock is not touching. So you got to make sure you pull it up on the side here. Maybe it's just this shoe, you know. So far, so good. Um, it's a bit of a loose thread here. Right on this one that I got, I want to show you that. Um, it's not a flaw per se, just somebody forgot to cut it. There's nothing unraveling. It's like an extra, but it just tells you what kind of thread they use. This thing, oh, it's not a thread, I'm sorry. I messed up. That's the tag I left there, the little, with the little star on there. <laughs> that, that was holding the tag. I left that in there. I thought it was a piece of thread. Forget that. All right, let's go ahead and put this thing on. So I've unzipped it. I'm going to slip it over the cleat. We're having a weird weather here over, over the weekend. Today is uh, Wednesday. On Saturday, it was 20 degrees, which is like minus seven Celsius in the morning. And it got up to like 40, which I believe is about four Celsius. Now today, we're at 19, we started at 19.5 Celsius, which is like 67. And right now we're at 78, which is like, I think 25 or something like that uh, Celsius. Very, very weird. That's, that's the problem we have down here in the southern U.S. We can never get used to those very cold temperatures, and that's why I, I spent an inordinate amount of time over the years learning how to dress for the cold weather because you never get used to it, and it, you can get sick if you're careless, you know. So, so today is balmy, you know, and uh, it's humid because the air is coming from the south, and, and it feels warmer than the actual air temperature. And we have a lot of sunshine, you know, all the animals, the squirrels that we, we didn't see all weekend, they're out again, you know? So it's, it feels almost like late spring. It's very weird. And then next week you're supposed to get more rain. So, you know, I've already mentioned how this thing, the silicone adheres to the skin. So that's not an accident. They actually planned that. Cause I just, I, I'm zipping this up. And as I zip it up the front, is adhering to, the, to my skin again, just like the other one. Then back here, what I just noticed, the zipper has a little flap. Let me come over here. The zipper has a little flap that it goes into right there. So as you zip it up, let me move this camera down. There, as you zip it up, it goes under this flap. It's like a little cover. A lot of jerseys have the same kind of cover. And so the zipper kind of goes in there. All of this is sealed. And then this flap comes over the zippered area. This flat, this is like a nano flex material up here. And it comes over the zippered area, which, which seals the zipper com completely. This little flap right here that I just moved. That is perfect. 
let me move it back up so uh the light crop is down here up here as you come further up they've added some nano flex material which actually gives you a little bit of flexibility but then on the outside you've got lycra it's really really nice i mean you guys can see for yourself this thing looks looks the business this is beautiful thank you simon moses for the tip this is beautiful because I, I i did not order this one at first because the reviews people said oh when i was putting it on a tour well i just put it on it didn't tear you know you got to take care you got to take care i mean and uh, it doesn't look as fragile as people were saying it did. You know, this thing, well, the big, uh, two things I like. My, my shoe feels the same with it on. There is no constriction going on like the Belgian over socks do. No constriction. So you, this is very comfortable. And now the true test, I've got my water holes right here. I'm going to do two different tests. I'm going to. I'm gonna treat it just like I would. I'm gonna do a full body shot here. Let me see if I've got that thing positioned well to where you can see my feet. Okay, I'm gonna do a full body shot here, rep trying to replicate what happens on the road. Um, I'm gonna stand on the concrete so you guys can actually see it. This is the perfect day for this kind of test. It's warm, it's balmy, I can play with all the water I want. I'm putting this on shower. This is the same hose I use to wash my bike to try to replicate how the water hits your shoe. So a lot of times, really, I will have my tights probably over this, but I kind of like that they have silicone on there. I'm going to get this sucker. So watch this. So let's assume the spray from your, your tires, okay? Rain, whatever. I mean, there is no way rain is going to be hitting me directly like this because you're going to be pedaling. So you figure it will probably be coming like that, hitting your leg, hitting your tights. You know, I'm not going to get myself all wet, but I just wanted to do this because, man, first thing is, guys, no water is coming through. OK, I'm hitting this thing. Let me move back so you can see. I am hitting this thing. I'm going to come closer to you. Can, let me give you a close up. Okay. There is no water going through the material whatsoever. I'm not going to increase the pressure of the water, but I'm going to change it to a different kind of spray. Almost like a road spray, like from another car or something that you would usually get. <laughs> I can tell you guys, I haven't take, I'm going to take it off when I'm done, but my foot's dry. My foot's dry. This is a keeper. Okay. So Poggio being rain, as they call it, these boys did their homework. Okay. Because I'm not going to get hit by this kind of water when I'm riding. I mean, when you're riding, your legs are moving. You don't get a lot of direct. You get indirect spray. That's why I'm doing it from the side like that. Indirect spray. And this is actually a more intense test than you would get on the road because I'm actually spraying water down into the top of the, the shoe covers, which is not fair to the shoe covers, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there because uh, this stuff works. Let me put this up. You can see it's all wet over here, so I'm going to move so I'm not sitting in the water. I'm just going to move on this side of the yard let me move this over here and then we're gonna finalize our test see how this uh how is this framed uh let me bring that camera down a little bit okay this is the first time i've tested any kind of a product like this uh, the reason I decided to do this was after my experience with the so-called Rafa Rain Protein Rain shoes. I'm like, okay, let's see. So here we here we go. Move this back a little bit. I want you to see my entire foot. There we go. Okay. I'm not even gonna dry it off. Okay, it's got water on it. First thing I notice is as soon as I stop, 
the water is running off the shoe. It's not very wet. And you saw me spray this guy. So I'm coming up here so I can show you. The water beads completely. There's no water going through the fabric. That lycra, whatever they have, keeps the water off completely. There is no water going through that fabric whatsoever. Okay. I want you to just kind of see that. There's a few beads of water on it. Uh, so I'm going to just undo the opposite of what I did. I'm going to take the strap off. We'll start with this one. I'm going to unzip. First thing is, I notice where the silicone was, there's a little line on my leg. I want you guys to see what I see. You see the line on my leg? That silicone really sealed. That's the line you're looking at right there from the silicone on my leg. There is no water below that, below that line. Just want to show you guys that. Um, let's bring that down a little bit. Okay. So, let me take this off. So take it off from the back and just kind of peel it off. And maybe this is what people don't do to take it off carefully and they end up ripping this stuff and then they want to blame the material because this thing has gone, the little, the little band that they put on the shoe, it is under my cleat. It's in the back of the cleat and under my cleat. So you have to carefully take it out. I kind of like where it goes because it gets out of the way. So when you're riding, you're not going to have trouble clipping in. And so if you're trying to take it out without going under here like this, yeah, you're going to rip it because it's actually embedded under the cleat. So I'm going to pull it back. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to pull it back and get it over the cleat. I think that's a plus because some of these things, you put them on there and you have trouble clipping in because they get in the way. This slides behind and under the cleat. So if you don't do that, yeah, you might rip it. Definitely. But you know, people who are who have been wearing these for a while know that you're supposed to check under there and just all you have to do is lift the material over your cleat, especially my Shimano cleats. They're real bad about that. They're, they're so wide. That's and that's why I like the Shimano platform. It's a very wide platform. Uh, guys, I think this speaks for itself. My foot is bone dry. Socks, everything bone dry. Up here, bone dry. Up to the point where that mark was no water this bad boy this bad boy works it do, it doesn't just look pretty it works I'm sold I'm keeping it uh, you know it came last night I just I, I planned to do this today because if it did not work I was gonna send it back I got it from a store called online store called bicycle buys I paid like 52 bucks it was like 59 they had a coupon for something as you checked out, you could you got an automatic coupon in the cart and then they shipped it free and there was no tax. So you can get them less expensive from like Merlin cycles. They're like 47 or 46. But I didn't want to wait. I, I wanted it here because we're expecting rain next week for three days. I got to ride. I can't take that much time off. I've already uh, the last few days I hadn't ridden as much. So that's why I wanted this sucker. So guys, uh, Simon. Thank you, Mr. Simon Moses, our, uh, one of our fellow legends. Thank you for the suggestion. This is A++++, whatever, the highest marks. Because nothing keeps water out completely. I mean, if I went through a deluge, I'd probably get water. Okay. Two things I want to stress that I liked. You remember my other videos I talked about putting... A cover under the hole of your shoe and my shoe had a has, had a hole at the front which is this is the shoe that I covered well the way this thing fits this bottom actually is the best ceiling bottom I've seen on, on any shoe I, I've used so the way they've designed this is like a cup and this has an elastic feel to it so it goes under there and it stays down so if you don't cover that hole, I think this will go a long way keeping water out. This is the front of it. That's where my hole is. And the same thing behind the cleat. Like I said, this part of it, 
goes under your cleat. It goes between your cleat and the shoe. So when you're taking it out, you got to slide it out and get it over the cleat. But the fact that it goes there keeps it out of the way when you're clipping. These people thought about this stuff. So kudos to Castelli. Uh, they didn't pay me to do this. I bought it with my own money. Simon suggested it, and I'm glad I did. Thank you, Simon. This thing works. So guys, if you're looking for something to cover your feet, this is it. This thing will keep you warm, and it will keep you dry. This silicone thing they put up here works. I've never used anything that had that. You can feel it. It sticks to your skin like glue. It doesn't hurt. I mean, if you, if you have a lot of hair on your leg and you pull on it, it might pull the hair, but it stays in place. You, you guys saw me spraying water on it. So think about it. If you're wearing tights or something else, this will work. Even if you're not wearing tights, it will keep most of the water out. Now, if you go through a deluge, your feet might get damp. But well, you saw, I, I replicated the kind of rain I ride in around here. That's the rain you would get in Seattle, Washington, or Portland, Oregon. I didn't replicate a thunderstorm because I'm not going to be riding in a thunderstorm. You know, if, you know because down here we get thunderstorm, we, I'm worried about lightning. And, you know, if it was lightning, I'm not going to be out there. The kind of rain I ride in, that's what I replicated with the showers. And this thing works. And it would probably work in heavier rain because... My, my feet are dry as if to say I didn't do this experiment. I mean, everything's dry. No water anywhere. My socks are dry, everything. I mean, I so, saw, yeah, uh, I like the length of it. I like the way it looks. I, re I like looking good. So, yeah, if I'm going to buy something, it needs to look good. And this stuff looks good. This is, this is like the, the Russell Corsair line is like the razor. Call it foul weather race equipment. So, yeah, so I'm right on target. It says foul weather race equipment. So this is for the race boys and it's lightweight. It's, it doesn't let anything through. So that means it will keep you warm and it will keep you dry, guys. The Castelli PLG3 overshoes. They work. I'm gonna get rid of this tag. This is They have the longest tags on their stuff. I'm gonna cut that out. I don't need that in there. So. If you're c contemplating getting out there and you're having trouble, uh, Morpheus, this will keep your feet warm out there where you are uh, in uh, Arizona. This will keep your feet dry. Scott Nelson, <laughs> you probably already know about this because you're living in rain country. So guys, I mean, I am sold. I cannot thank you enough, Simon, for the, uh, the suggestion. I still have some other stuff coming from Endura. Uh, unfortunately, the company I bought it through called Bike In, I-N-N, -N, they seem to have a lot of siestas. It's a Spanish company. So they, you know, I mean, after two weeks, they just sent me an email saying that they are, they are about to ship and they will let me know. They will send me an email when it ships. So, you know, the, the, the Spanish guys have a different speed. That they work on the prices are great but i've never used them before and it just seemed to be slow but all the reviews were good they, they have good products they have the best prices but and that's why i did not get this from them because i wanted it right away because it's going to be raining uh, i believe sunday here it's going to be raining and you know saturday and sunday those are my days to get three hours plus in I, you know and uh you know i just don't like anything interfering with it except lightning so you guys you legends uh be safe when you're out there. Don't let anything stop you from riding. Uh, I have a motto where I say if, what did you, you know, how, how do you have a great day? Ride your bike. <laughs> you know, that's me. Ride your bike, ride your bike, ride your bike. So be safe on the roads and we'll see you on the next time.